So imagine a cat on my shoulder. Oh, why? Why do you do this? Okay, so, so if you want the cat to be transparent and yes. not in the black murkiness, yes. then you have to shoot. It's separate. You have to shoot a plate. Whenever you have a cat, you have to shoot a plate without a cat so that you can then put stuff behind it. Put um, what's easier? The wool still of it. Neither are easy. Damn it, yeah! You get your shot, a track a camera, and now you've got to do particle effects that move in the space. And now you've got to model all of the geo in the scene so that it can move and wrap around the various objects. Everyone is crushing my dream. I promise you one day I will pick something. I do not believe Director audition. Today we are auditioning Jen for the role of director. Director audition? <laughs> Is that a thing? I don't know, I panicked. This is Jen. No, Just ignore oh the camera. God. Just don't stress about the camera. Oh my god, I just saw the camera. Kill <laughs> me now. <laughs> Park for starters. I mean, look, I'm not really feeling anything at the moment. I'm gonna sneeze again. Hold on. I'm not really feeling anything at the moment because all I am really thinking about is getting these contracts back. And if we don't get the contracts, I haven't really thought about anything else yet. That's the thing, like, I understand it. I completely understand it. But I'm just like, ah, okay. This is it. This is just the waves of the world. Though. That's just kind of like, all right, well, we'll just do what we can with what we have. And if that doesn't work, it doesn't work. What are you doing? What are you doing? That's my thoughts. That's my two cents. Just to explain that this vlog is going to be up and this is going to be like a normal vlog. And then Vale is also going to be vlogging and that's going to be our production vlog. So in a few days you will get a fancy, more polished yes. version of yep. this vlog but from Dale. We are currently waiting to board a plane to go back down to Sydney for our second Screen Australia slash Google slash Nevernight workshop. Can someone teach Pierre how to use Photoshop? Money. Anyone, Money. any fans, anyone at all. She's looking for Photoshop lessons. Pierre, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm having an existential crisis. Second day for the Screen Australia slash Google slash Nevernight workshops. Uh, today we have a bunch of cool stuff. We've got a pitching panel. We're doing some table reads for the other teams. We've got some chats from industry professionals. Uh, and yeah, just figuring out kind of the next steps for the whole project. <laughs> have you put any of this in behind Do the scenes? Put it all in there. My, my will to live often is the top, Jesus my top work in progress. Just work it in to be I'm honest. currently well, working I'm, on my will to yeah. live. How to respond to questions off screen. But also never mind. Mostly going over the location briefs. At the beginning, when we pitched to Screen Australia, I supplied a locations board because obviously it is heavily saturated in Venusian-inspired fantasy. I did up this mood board of all the locations that we, like the inspiration of where we'd want to shoot. And obviously because I suck at formatting, Caleb and Jen then had to go through and format it correctly so it didn't, like someone threw up on it my computer screen. It was so much. It was so far beyond Triggered. saving. Triggered. Triggered. I am working on looking through Pierre's Bible notes, seeing what she thinks for all the scenes. Bible notes are basically, uh, we have the cast, locations, and props, and just her notes of how she sees it playing out. That's all I got. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Now let me know. Yeah, when you're in. Um, so we just did a workshop on budgeting and what we are allowed to and what we are not allowed to do as a part of Screen Australian Government funding. Our budget's looking a lot more strange than it was 30 minutes ago. We spoke about budget, which we always knew was going to be our biggest problem and our biggest hurdle, especially trying to adapt such a big book, especially trying to adapt high fantasy, especially trying to adapt a high fantasy book in Australia. It's not a rude awakening because we knew that we were already over budget and that budget was what we were going to struggle with. Like the team's on a bit of a downer just because it is it's hard to hear. I'm confident we can do it. I'm confident we can make it work. This is just one of the hurdles that we're going to have. <laughs> I'm very stressed and when people say that we're ambitious and I, I'm sick of hearing it as well and I'm sick of hearing it and I get, I get upset by it because I know it's ambitious but I also know that I think we can pull it off to a degree but I think, I just need, I think we just need to kind of take a, like restock where we, where we actually stand and, and temper some expectations but I think we've just gotten a little bit deep in our sense of scale and grandeur with the project. Having read the book now, having read the book now, having been writing the scripts and, and thinking about all of the plots in the books and the future series and episodes and, and characters and bits and pieces and I think we just need to kind of 
go in tomorrow open-minded to, to strip it strip it back a bit. As long as we're allowed the creativity and the tr like have the trust from you that we will get the coverage but we will also push what we can with the budget we can. Realistically, and yeah, we'll see yeah. how fast you That's and fun. Ben shoot. And if you guys are hitting your targets, then you get you get to keep that freedom and you can get all of the creative shots that you want moving along. Cool. If you guys struggle to hit the speed that we need in those first few days, then we'll reassess yeah, yeah, and have yeah. a hard I'm, chat about cutting a lot of creative shots. And I guess I just want to affirm that this isn't the commercial Sean the Sheep where you get yeah, yeah, yeah. the combo grip truck and all the bits and pieces. This is very much star level. Um, yep. And I guess I, I want you to also, um, I, I work on, on reacting, um, going comatose and, and having an anxiety attack. And I'm not saying don't have an anxiety attack because I also have a little one. And I'm, I, I, I guess I just want you to try your best to stay a little bit more level headed when budget comes up because it's going to have to come up a lot. Moving, moving forward. I think you did a awesome job today, um, especially with the pitch. You brought it and you slam dunked that. And yes. Pierre would like to nap. Now. Let's nap. Mm. And chill, but yes. Today we're testing a scene that may or may not be in the final episode. Where I was thinking was actually back in there. This is cool though. That's not what I meant. I meant to avoid that one. That's the one I was trying to not say. VFX yeah. plates. We're doing Nothing VFX plates. To Jen and Ben was think about yeah. where you draw the line. I know. I was, that's why I slowed down. 24 hours away from, uh, from shooting, day one. Knowing I trust Caleb enough and then having met you, I'm like, you, we have the personality to get along. And, it, and especially coming in with this being the first time we've worked together when this is like my be all and end all, this is my blood right now. Being able to like trust you guys to come in and be like, okay, well, we're, we're doing this, like, you know, it's not gonna be easy, it's gonna be really fucking hard. And especially with all the elements that we did have working against us and still, you know, continue to have working against us to trust you guys enough that we, we can do this.